Oh boy. Anyway, what's going on everyone? Dan back with another video and feel like crap, look like crap, but you know what? It, it's kind of fitting right now because we're about to talk about something that I feel is a load of crap, like a major, major load of crap. Now, you're probably wondering, well, there's been lots of stories about this, about this topic. Why, why is this one any special? It really isn't. I, for some reason, this one just pushed me over the edge. Then again, maybe I was already just at that teetering point, and any story like this probably would have done it, but I don't know, man. I really don't, but I'm getting really, really, really fed up to hear with this bullshit about how it's always the video game's fault for any type of violent behavior that happens in society today. Never mind other factors that could influence behavior. No, it's got to be the video game. It always has to be the video game for some reason, and I never, never understood that. But in order for this not to be extremely long, I'm just going to go over a brief summary of the story that I read. I'll link the story in the description. So, um, and forgive me, I'm going to look at the computer and read the story word for so as not to misconstrue anything. But, yep, here we go. Okay, apparently, an eight-year-old boy in, um, where is it? Louisiana, intention uh, intentionally shot and killed his elderly caretaker in the back of the head with a loaded gun. And the authorities... And the media are blaming it all on Grand Theft Auto 4. Because apparently, according to the story, the kid was just playing Grand Theft Auto 4 on the PlayStation 3. And that is why he did what he did. Aside from the obvious head shaking you all probably just did right there. I, I, I just find it amazing that none of the major questions that need to be asked are not being asked by not just this article right here. That I've read other articles, too, about this same topic. None of the major questions are being asked. Like, why did the eight-year-old child have access to the loaded gun? Why was the gun loaded immediately? Was there a reason it needed to be loaded immediately? Why did there be a gun? Thanks, phone. <laughs> why did there need to be a gun in the house? Was there a specific reason why there needed to be a gun in this house? Were the parents asked about that? Why and yeah, once again, why did the parents not have the gun in a secure location that the child could not get it in? Why did the parents allow the kid to play Grand Theft Auto 4? Why did they buy Grand Theft Auto 4 for their 8-year-old kid? Because, because the 8-year-old kid couldn't have bought it by himself. So those and a lot of questions like that really needed to be asked. They really did. But another part of this story that I found interesting right here. Let me see if I can find it. Apparently, according to the boy's father, said that the gun belonged to the elderly caretaker. Okay. Now, I, I, would ha I hate doing this because I don't like speaking ill of people who just passed on. Unless, unless they've done something really, really bad. But I, I think a major point here is that why did you, as the parents, why did you allow a caretaker, not a family relative, not, not a friend of the family, but just a caretaker, to bring a gun into your house with your eight-year-old son? Why? Why would you allow that to happen? Once again, yet another question that should be asked 
by the mainstream media, but they're not asking that. They're just, oh, it's Grand Theft Auto Force fault. It, it, it's bad. It's bad for people. It influences children's minds, and blah, 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 needs to be banned. Okay, well, here's the thing. I've been playing games all my life. Literally, almost all my life. All, my whole memory has been me playing video games. Ever since my first memory, earliest memory that I can think of. I've played a ton of violent video games over my whole life. Including, and here's a perfect example, I played the original Mortal Kombat on the Super Nintendo when I was six years old. That is right. When I was six years old, I played Mortal Kombat on the Super Nintendo. I have never committed any act of violence in my life, ever. Hell, I've never even really broken the law in my life. Unless you count speeding ticket I got a couple days ago from a stupid speeding camera. I hate, I hate fucking speeding cameras. That's another, that's another story, but yeah. And, and what was, what's so special about the first Mortal Kombat? I'll tell you. I'll, I'll tell you what's so special about the first Mortal Kombat. Do you see that right there? Do you see that? The ESRB rating system. The original Mortal Kombat created that rating system. It created the rating system because of Sub-Zero's fatality where he rips your spine out. But yet, that game didn't make me cause random acts of violence. It didn't make me go rip people want to rip people's spines out or throw fireballs at people and all that stuff. No, it didn't want me to do that. Because even at six years old, I knew it was a game. I knew it was a game. I'm sure this eight year old knew it was a game. At least I would hope so. I mean I can understand maybe if somebody who's got actual like mental problems with their brain Maybe they could probably process that differently, but see, here's the thing. You shouldn't be giving children like that almost any type of game if they're that influenced by stuff, but not just that. How come no one ever talks about movies? How come never no one never talks about television? Or how about music? Or how about just people being influenced by, like, say, other people, what they do? It doesn't have to be, like, public figures. It could be just regular people that you see. But see, none of that could be solely blamed on what people do with their own judgment, even as a kid. Of course, that's just my opinion about that. Some people may disagree with kids having their own judgment. I mean, at six years old, I knew what right from wrong was. I didn't know everything about life. I mean, I was six years old, but I knew what right from wrong was. I knew not to hit somebody. I knew not to stab somebody. I knew not to shoot somebody. I mean, it, it, it's common sense. It really is. But no, once again, it's got to be video games' fault. And I never understood why the media has this stigma about video games. It's, it's like, it's like, video games did something to people in the media. What it is, I don't know. But there's actually another interesting part of this story that I, I really would like to get to that actually, actually made me shake my head in disbelief. And it goes to show you that, once I tell you this, why journalism, at least when it comes to this topic, is practically fucking dead. Dead in the water. It's been dead in the water for years, but might as well just beat a dead horse while we're at it. So let me get to this part. And I'm going to read it for quote. Although motive for the shooting is unknown at this time, even though earlier in the article they basically blamed the video game, Journalism, lesson number one, don't contradict yourself in the title and in the middle article, just saying. Although the motive for the shooting is unknown at this time, investigators have learned that the juvenile suspect was playing a video game on the PlayStation 3, a PlayStation with space, Grand Theft Auto 4, a realistic, a realistic game that has been associated with encouraging violence and awards points, awards points to players for killing people just minutes before the homicide occurred. Okay, okay, okay. I'm a fair person. 
I am an extremely fair person. Let's find out if you get points for just killing people. How you like this? Damn, asshole. Okay. I, I just showed you Grand Theft Auto 4. Did you see any points come on the screen when I killed that one random person? Did you? Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't see any points. And it's not just Grand Theft Auto 4. Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, San Andreas, Vice City Stories, Liberty City Stories, and Grand Theft Auto 5. I, I, I'm going to go on a win. None of those games had points for killing people, and I don't think Grand Theft Auto V is going to do the same thing. It's just a hunch I have. Just a little tiny hunch I have. But, but see, that's, that's, that's what's funny. That's, what, that's what's funny that the so-called journalists, the so-called journalists that are supposed to do their job, see, and it's not just in the journalism field. It's just common sense. When I was in high school, and I had to do like English papers. I was given a topic, and what did I have to do? What did I have to do? Um, wait a minute. What is it? Tip my head. Tip my head. Um, I had to research the topic before I wrote it down. You know, research when you actually look at your subject, whether it be reading about it, looking up information about it, or playing it yourself. I mean, do you really think any of these journalists? actually have played Grand Theft Auto 4. I, I don't think so. But see, once again, that's the basic fundamental rule of journalism. You have to research your topic before you write about it. And, and, and journalists, if any, any mainstream journalist that for some one reason or another happens to be watching this, and you're probably thinking, because you've never played this before. Oh, I, I saw um, saw a number counter on the screen. Wouldn't that be considered points? No, actually, the number counter on the screen that you're probably seeing is the money counter, where you get money in the game. You know, and, and you should be familiar with that because you get paid a load of money for not doing your job properly. And another thing about the Grand Theft Auto series that you probably don't seem to understand is that you could actually get through, even though it could be kind of hard, you could actually go through the entire game without actively killing any pedestrian on purpose. You don't have to. The, the game gives you freedom to do what you want. That's why people love the game. It's because it gives you that sense of freedom to enjoy the game how you see fit. God damn you. <laughs> oh, but, yeah, I think I covered m most of the basic info that I want to cover. But um, Journalism is dead, in my opinion, at, at least when it comes to this. And people need to rise up. And we don't need to take this stuff anymore. All we gamers need to rise up and fight back against this establishment. And other gaming websites, not just well-known gaming websites, but little up-and-coming gaming websites. We need to rise up and tackle this issue because I'm sure I'm not alone. I'm getting fed up with the media blaming video games for any kind of random act of violence that goes on in this world. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and let me know what you think. And, um, yeah, I will see you all next time and... Have a good one. Later.